Strolnoff TechCrunch, and I'm here with Seth Sternberg and Arden Arach from Google. And you guys made an announcement today. Uh, you're bringing in some uh, app activity to Google Search, which is right. which is pretty exciting. Um, can you talk a little bit how about how Google Plus sign in has been going, how the adoption with developers sure. has been? Yeah, so uh, we've been really excited by the developer, just both reaction and adoption to Google Plus sign in. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've actually run uh, hackathons around the world trying to bring Google Plus sign in to developers. We've done it in Paris, we did it in Tokyo, and mm -hmm. Korea, and uh, New York twice. Yes. Um, so, you know, we've done that. Uh, the couple of things that we've seen that have just been surprising to us are, you know, two features that have just kind of blown us away in terms of, of how well they've performed both for users and developers. So the one we were kind of expecting, which was the ability to very easily download an Android application right. from the web, right? right? So you're, you know, you're signing in on, you know, guardian.co.uk, mm -hmm. you know, the website on your desktop, you know, PC. And when you do that, if you have an Android phone, it asks, hey, do you want the Android app? Mm -hmm. And the you know, number of users that are saying yes is right. just staggering. Right. So that's awesome. Because what's happening there is so many users just don't even necessarily know that there's an Android app right. for the website that they love. And they're just, yeah, they're just searching yeah, they just something. like, you know, they landed on Guardian or they love right. the Guardian, but they just, they don't know about the mobile app. Right. So we're helping users discover that. And then it's, of course, great for developers because they get more Android app distribution, where often we hear from publishers in particular, their users are much more engaged mm -hmm. when the user has an app as opposed to when they're using right. mobile web. Yeah. So that's one feature we've been super psyched about. Right. The other one that really just completely outperformed our expectations what was, was, is what we call interactive posts. Right. So okay. interactive that's, posts, that's yeah. Profiles. This one, it, yeah, it goes to profile, but what's, what, there are two things that are powerful about it. The first is if I want to share something with you from, say, OpenTable, like I mm -hmm. want you to see a menu, right. if I put your name in to that share box, you will get a notification on every Google property, right? right? On right. search, on maps, inside Google Plus, you on your phone. You can share it with circles, share it anywhere. Right. And then when you receive it, there's a very clear call to action, which takes you to the developer's mobile app or mm -hmm. takes you to their website. Right. And this, is, this is awesome for developers. Yeah, I this mean. is just like, this is, this is highly qualified traffic, right? right? With the reach of Google. Right. And so that's been a huge deal. And the interaction rate that we've seen on that kind of share versus a normal share has mm -hmm. been staggering to us. We've been really pleasantly surprised with it. Interesting. Now you showed on stage, you, Arden, you showed us the uh, the search integration. How's, how did that come about? The, the, you were working closely with the search team and... Yep. So and I'm the social PM in search, so right. I, okay. as part of that, I work very closely with Google Plus team. Right. When I found out about user activities that are coming in, we were very excited about that. Mm -hmm. it, it is an interesting source of data that tells us about users' relationship to apps, uh, what users are doing in apps or in websites. Uh, it's very fresh, relevant data. Right. So we partnered with Seth and his team to try to think about how we can make use of that data. And what you saw today was the first application. Yeah, it's pretty, I mean, it's so movies and music are the, the first use cases that make That's complete right. sense. Um, I could see where games would be interesting, like high scores and things like that. Um, so, yeah, that's really interesting stuff. So, can you talk, you know, as we wrap up, can you just talk a little bit what you'll be doing moving forward? More hackathons, sure. more... Yeah. So, I'll tell you, one thing that, you know, we've said when we launched Google Plus Sign In, and you can see it in this announcement, mm -hmm. you know, really now for the first time, is we're really interested in taking, you know, social actions and what people are doing around the right. internet and giving them to their friends or giving them to other people right. when it's relevant. Right. Right? Sharing in kind of social actions is not necessarily just about a feed. Right. It's not, it's not necessarily, just a screen that's in your It's not just time, and, yeah, right? Because yeah. you don't necessarily care if I, you know, read an article about Costa Rica right now because you're here Probably in New not. York. Right. Right? But there's going to be a point in the future where you really may care about that like article. Like when I'm searching for Costa Rica. That's right. Like yeah. if you're planning a trip, you're going to care. Right. right? So we think so much about how to make you know, interaction between you and me relevant in the internet. So that's the kind of thing that you'll keep seeing us focus on. And this is just the beginning. You'll see, you know, and you asked, um, you know, what else are we going to do in the future? We're going to keep running, you know, hackathons around mm -hmm. the world because we want to make it really easy for developers to right. get Google Plus sign in into their sites. You'll see lots of new features to make it even easier for developers to deploy Google Plus sign in, make it easier for users to connect. And, you know, one thing that we're all about 
It's also making a totally seamless experience between mobile and web. Right. You've seen the beginnings of it with our very easy Android uh, installs. I promise you'll see more really exciting stuff around that too. Yeah, it'll be interesting to talk to some developers and see what experiences they've had and as that data gets surfaced. But uh, thank you guys That's for right. joining me and, and uh, congrats on the announcement. Yeah, and, thanks uh, for having us.